The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the November 7th, the uh, terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Now let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past eight o'clock in the morning. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Well, you can't pick up that phone just yet, but what you can do is you can send me an email. Send it out to steve at tfn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Now, folks, first we are recording the show between 8 and 9 this morning. So if you're listening from 11 to 12, thanks so much for doing that. I'm going to make the show as pertinent as I possibly can for that hour and what to be able to look for. Uh, but, of course, if you are listening between 8 and 9, please, by all means, go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfnn.com, and I'll be happy to get to your request. So we begin our morning with U.S. equity futures trading to the upside. Got the Dow futures up uh, 90, uh, 93 points, NASDAQ's up 97, S&P futures are up 18, and the Russell futures are up 12 and a half. Now, each of you know out there, each of you know that uh, yesterday we had that one-day rate of change below minus 10%. If you're listening on the show, it should be no surprise to anybody that futures are trading higher. And we'll take a look at those charts here. Overseas last night in, uh, in Asia, we had a mixed bag. The Nikkei was down by 99 uh, bucks, a quarter percent. You had the uh, Shanghai. That was up by 2.5%, 91 bucks, 2% for the Hang Seng. We'll take a look at those charts as well. That was a 400-point move. The FTSE is lower this morning. The DAX is up higher. The DAX, I think, maybe towards its session high of the day. And if it does close that way, you should expect the NASDAQ 100 to do the same thing. In the uh, commodities area, we've got uh, gold, silver, and copper are trading higher. Gold's up 7 bucks, silver 14 cents, copper's up 12 pennies. Uh, natural gas is uh, basically flat out there, and lights recruit is off 30 cents, printing out, excuse me, at 71.38. Uh, 10 year and uh, 10 years up two ticks and the, uh, I'm sorry, five ticks and the uh, 30 year is up uh, two, two ticks out there. Uh, you've got all the commodities, well, all the soft commodities, wheat, soybeans, soybean meal, corn, coffee, cocoa. Uh, lean hogs, sugar, and live cattle, all trading to the upside uh, this morning out there. But let's begin our day simply by trying to understand what's going on across the board, across, uh, what's going on in Asia. What's going on, actually, Asia and Europe this morning. So we're going to really start this show here the way that I start the newsletter out. If you give me a moment, we're going to flip back over now to my white background charts. We'll be flipping probably back and forth. Uh, change your window. Give me a moment here. And you'll see five different... Uh, Panels. First one on the left-hand side is a Shanghai. So at Shanghai, remember all that stimulus? I mean, this was a rocket ship from September 19th all the way up to that trading session of October the 8th. And you can see the top was identified with that TD9 count top out there. And typically you get a top, but what does it do? It will take price back to the oscillator and change line. Well, that's in fact what happened here. Uh, you know, the cool thing about this pattern, why does this pattern work? where the top will form on bars 9 or bar 10, uh, 8, 9, or 10, and bottoms the same way out there. Uh, why, do, why does this work? I can only imagine, if we just kind of uh, take a look at possibly track and field, that this is a sprint. 
you know, and if you sprint, I don't care whether you're the fastest man in the world, you're running the 100-yard dash. When you're done with that 100-yard dash, you're pretty much done. You need to rest out here. So this is the market's 100-yard dash, no matter what you do, whatever time frame that's out there. It doesn't work all the time. Sometimes there's more energy to keep running further, and uh, that tells you about a still strong upward momentum move out there. In any event, right now what we have is we have that Shanghai index above the green oscillator and change line. So that's a bullish condition, outright bullish condition. And price is going to go straight in inside that swing point from back on, uh, what was it, uh, October the... Uh October the 8th out there. So it's going to go target or it should target that high. The high of that candle session is up at the 38.51 level. If we take a look at the Hang Seng, the Hang Seng has really been trading in a sideways consolidation since the middle of October out there. Now, if price can close above 21.058 tomorrow, uh, this evening and into the early morning. If price is able to close above that trade above that, then that's going to tell us that price is ready to resume its move to the upside. Until then, we just have a sideways consolidation. If we take a look at the Nikkei 225. The Nikkei 225 had this little island top pattern up had formed out here after wave number seven, and that most certainly took price lower. Uh, right now, we are trading above her. It is trading above her. It closed above its green oscillator and change line for two consecutive sessions. Uh, my assumption is that it's going to go tackle this high, and it possibly, if it closes above that high, we then trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside, that high being 4257.34. In the case of the FTSE over in the UK, you know, gigantic rally started off yesterday and then just simply gave it up. This red oscillator and change line for the FTSE is the key critical level of resistance at day's end. We're trading with inside yesterday's candle out there. Uh, we're trading below its close. Uh, we're trading. Uh, we're trading inside the TD nine count bar. Uh, that's bar number eight from October thirty first. And today's, if we're to, if price were to close below, price were to close below eighty one fifty nine sixty three, that would tell us that price is likely to you know, target that TD nine count bottom pattern out there. In the case of the DAX, as I mentioned, it's got a directional correlation between the uh, Nasdaq and uh, and it. And uh, uh, so here you can see we're trading right now up towards the high of the uh, day. We're still trading inside of yesterday's bar. And that says that the pattern that's in place is likely to continue. I would say as long as price is below that green asset and change line, that would be to the downside. But not today, not right now. In fact, price might go up and again, tag it as it did yesterday and perhaps reject it. Now, price closed above that level, that level would be 19,392 or so. Then that would tell us about a move to the upside out there possibly retargeting its all-time high. It does have a Rosemont indicator topping pattern out there. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the international markets. Why don't we move over into the currencies, see what's going on there. And give me a moment. I Hopefully it pops up on our screen. So the U.S. dollar index, gigantic move to the upside yesterday. I'm not showing the U.S. dollar index chart, but you know what I'm talking about. If we take a look at the euro, uh, the euro, which crushed through its red oscillator and change line, negated a TD9 cow bottom, that would have been telling us that they get ready for the euro to just crush it to the downside. However, we've got the weekly chart below. And the weekly chart shows that price found support and may have bottomed at its breakout level. And that's at 1.071. That's going to be important come tomorrow. So what we should see, at least today, is we should see a rally up into the daily asset and change line, 1.08. If we do that, as we continue to do that, that'll put weakness inside the dollar. In the case of the uh, yen, the yen is... Uh weakening further because it's trading above its green oscillator and change line so that puts a little bit of strength in the dollar and right now the great british pound is taking on that oscillator and change line as well as long as it remains above it that'll go ahead and move higher the dollar will be weaker steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, uh, folks. You know what I'm going to do here because uh, I didn't do the uh, didn't do a eight o'clock update. Just to give you an, an overview again of what uh, instruments are doing out here, and then we'll start getting into the details. Uh, we're going to move over to the black background charts. We're going to take a look at my nine panel market update chart. So if we take a look at the ES mini here, we'll take a look at the details about what's going on, you know, under the covers. But the ES mini is targeting its one to one A to B equals CD price projection. That's up at the sixty twelve seventy five level. It's trading above all resistance with the spot VIX index being below. It's 50-day exponential moving average of 50 days at uh, 1885, and we're trading right now at uh, 1558. Uh, if we take a look at the NQ, the NQ closed above profile resistance yesterday. It's going to go target 21, 261.50. I'm not saying to sell the ES or the NQ. As it gets to those levels, you'd really like to see a bearish reversal candle to confirm that. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, there's no topping pattern. It took out its TD9 count top yesterday. Uh, it's trading above profile resistance. It is trading lower. So if it does uh, continue to trade lower, you want to watch the first level of support, which would be 104.26. In the case of gold, it very likely has bottomed. Uh, it uh, price came and now it doesn't have a bottom pattern other than getting back to breakout support. And when you get and then we're trading inside the bullish structured weekly profile, the buy zone. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, last evening, uh, we got down pretty close to testing the breakout level. The actual low from last night was down at uh, 265030 264530 uh, is that breakout level so you're close enough for Stevie uh, we should see a further rally silver's done the same thing now silver's actual low yesterday was down at 3096 3094 was the uh, is the TD nine count breakout level so I believe both of these are likely to rally of course with the US dollar index moving lower uh, that should aid it a bit out there is it a bottom is it a significant bottom I don't know the answer to that question uh, uh, but I do believe it is a bottom, which, and it's likely to trade higher. In the case of uh, gold, the resistance level is really the first one's going to be at 2730. Uh, we'll take a look at the daily gold contract because the asset and change line may get in the way of the uh, of where the next resistance level is. Lights Week Crude uh, made its way up to its sell zone of its profile. That sell zone between 7302 and 7536. Uh, natural gas has a uh, a uh, a, row, a, a B C D bottom, but it also has a road momentum indicator bottom. So I think it's got two bottom patterns out there. Now what it needs to do is it it's only rallied right up into the level where a counter trend move would end, and that is a center. Uh, no, I take that back. I take that back. 
uh, the, the, it's just dealing with resistance. It's bearish structured resistance zone, the sell zone, I should say, at 2.808 and 2.866. And finally, a 30-year treasury, uh, that's going to need a bullish reversal candle to confirm any kind of a bottom. We don't have that, likely to head lower out there. So overall, that's what's going on with the uh, markets. Uh, most people are turn in at 11 o'clock. It's one of the first things that we do out there. So now let's move off of this. Well, no, let's, I tell you what, um, here we can take a look at, because I had mentioned this, uh, during the uh, just kind of during the, the the opening out here, and this is what this what is this you're talking about, Stevie? What this is this is the S and P chart up top. Uh, down below is the one day rate of change of the spot VIX, and that's at the bottom panel. And the center panel is just simply the VIX with the 50 day exponential moving average line on that. When we get one day rates of change below minus 10 percent, yesterday's one day rate of change ended up being a total of minus 20.60 percent. Does it matter if it's uh, way more than 10 percent, uh, or you know, is it uh, give you even more momentum or anything to the upside? The answer is no. You know, one bottom, a bottom pattern is a bottom pattern. To you know, it, it, it really it really doesn't. Um, so what we've got out here is if you take a look at the other green arrows, they don't always work. Uh, it always concerns me a bit when we're at highs and that pattern forms. Rather it be where the market is pulling back, where you've got a retracement, that's then typically more likely lead to a higher high out here. But, uh, you know, we are trading uh, this morning in uh, equity futures above yesterday's high, so it doesn't appear that that is the, uh, that that is the uh, problem that we've got. In the case of the New York Stock Exchange, it's advanced client oscillator. Uh, it closed just above zero yesterday. It had to work out. So, you know, if we take, if we step back for a moment and we take a look at the reaction of the market to um, the uh, Trump victory out there, it, it almost didn't matter who was the victor yesterday. We know that the, uh, we know that the markets had got into oversold condition. It had been stuck in oversold condition for a few days out there. That's when you get to the minus 150 level. So really not a surprise that the market would have taken up. I think regardless of who won, that was really the signal that was coming from us. Uh, from, I'm sorry, from us, from the uh, charts out here. So if it closes above that zero threshold level today, stays below the 50-day exponents moving average out here, that's the uh, VIX, uh, then, and, and what's, when I say above the zero threshold level, I'm referring to the advanced decline oscillator. Again, that's the difference between the 19 to 39 period of its exponential moving average of the advanced decline line itself. So I know that sounded confusing, but Steve, Stevie's a little tired here, out here. Uh, in any event, just simply, if we get a close above that zero threshold line, that tells the buyers are the ones that are in control of the uh, general markets out there. So let's move off of these charts here, and let's go take a look at the uh, intraday NQ chart. So if you give me a moment, we'll change it over back to the white background screens. Hopefully Stevie has this under control today. And up in the upper left-hand side, you'll see the NQ. Now, I don't have the uh, A to B equals CD pattern written in here. We've already taken a look at that. We've given you the uh, price objective out there. And what we have here is this is we're only in wave number F. That's letter six. So there's no topping signal. So the NQ is suggesting it should move higher. Now, the confirmation of that is really going to come from the five-hour time frame chart. It is now in, this at nine o'clock. So we've got about... Uh, what do we have? About 36 minutes from now. Uh, this is going to go ahead and complete. This being the NQ's five-hour time frame chart. This is going to complete a TD9 count top out here. And that says that we could see a retracement. You could even see a retracement back to its oscillator and change line. Currently printed at 2690 uh, out there. However, if after 9 o'clock, now the next candle is not going to close until 2 p.m. out there. But if after 9 o'clock, price is trading above its high. I give you what the current high is, but that might not be it. Uh, it might be a higher high. But right now at uh, 824, that high is at 29.99 and a quarter. Now, what's interesting here is the four-hour time frame chart had a TD9 count top. That went ahead and completed at 2,200 hours last evening, and it was negated right away. So by 2 a.m., its next four-hour bar, it negated that signal out there. So it's only the only thing that I see of interest from a topping signal is going to be the uh, uh, five hour time frame chart. The uh, 10 minute chart has got a, a TD9 count and uh, Rhodes momentum indicator top out here. What you want to watch the uh, level here is 2967. So if you're really intraday trading out here, what you're going to want to watch is 2967. That is where 
a counter trend move to the downside for a 10 minute time frame would come to an end if that's all it is just a counter trend move to the downside if instead price on the 10 minute basis closed below 29.67 price is likely to go target the 29.34 level that's its td9 count breakout area for its 10 minute time frame let's do the same thing here for the es mini uh the es mini more tied to the uh one day rate of change on the spot vix out here so let's go see what it is doing it's trading up 15 points right now um so just let these populate. Again, I don't have the A to B equals CD pattern written in here, but we already covered that. We're trading above profile. We're trading above yesterday's high. So as of 825 in the morning, that all looks good. Now we're looking for these intraday charts to complete here to see if there's any kind of a topping pattern. And the ES mini for its five-hour time frame is following right along. It's going to complete bar number, the bar following bar number nine. You have a completed pattern here at nine o'clock this morning. If it does move lower, its price target to the downside right now would be 5905. I don't see any other topping patterns out here. Um, let's just quickly, not quickly, we're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to go to pull up all of the five-hour time frame charts. Let's see if we've got any kind of synergy here. So I'll have that pulled up for us when we get back from this break. Of course, if you've got something you'd like me to look at, you can give me a, uh, a send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. In fact, what we're going to do here, um, what we're going to do here. We'll take a look at all those five-hour charts. Then we're going to take a look at the IWM for Hector and Patty. So we'll rip that apart. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Master probability is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon sign up for steve's market newsletter mastering probability and you'll receive access to seven of steve's educational webinars absolutely free at tfnn all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have absolutely nothing to worry about visit tfnn.com and try mastering probability 30 days risk-free today tfnn educating investors Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's take a look at the uh, four or five hour time frame charts for the equity futures. We've already identified for the ES and the NQ that they're going to go ahead and complete TD nine count tops as we come into the 9 a.m. hour out there. That should lead to lower price. The oscillator and change lines would be their first targets to the downside. The Dow completed its uh, uh, five hour uh, TD9 count top. It did it earlier this morning, did it at 4 a.m. And here we can see that price moving lower. So for the Dow equity future contract, it's already given us the number to be paying attention to. And that's going to be the high from 4 a.m. If price is able to close above, start trading above 44.017, that tells you that its rally is ready to continue out there. Otherwise, it simply may want to do a bit of a retracement. And if we take a look at the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 could form by 9 a.m., could form a Roachman indicator. Uh, top out here very close to uh, generating a uh, bear sash candle a bearish engulfing candle so we just have to wait for uh, nine o'clock to show up another 29 minutes from now so it does look like we have um, a, a unanimous agreement here with regard to some type of topping pattern on the five hour time frame chart so where could this uh, pullback should it unfold take us to 5904 in the es 2687 in the nq uh, 43385 ish remember these numbers are going to be lower I'm just giving you the range right now to the downside. And finally, for the Russell 2000, be the 20, this is called 2362 level. That's the uh, beginning of the buy zone uh, for the uh, five hour time frame chart. So that's what's going on there. Now, Hector would like to take a look at the Russell 2000. Uh, he'd really like to take the IWM. So we're going to do that. We don't have any requests in other than his. So we'll spend some time really taking a look at that. Uh, what I mean by that is we're going to first start down. Uh, first start off by uh, draw, by uh, uh, by uh, looking at the intraday charts for the well really all multiple time frame charts for the Russell let's start with the largest time frame so when prices trade in above a green oscillator and change line conditions are bullish if we take a look at the monthly time frame chart you'll see we're trading above we're trading above first we're trading above the highs from the last four months we're trading above the green oscillator and change line where do we think price is going to go target it's going to go target the 24, 60, 80 level. It's going to go target the high of its TD9 count bottom pattern that had formed out there. So that's going to be the next resistance level on a monthly time frame. The weekly time frame, we're trading above profile resistance. We're trading above its green oscillator and change line, all out bullish. Uh, now, I do see a wave, potential wave number seven top out here. Let's take a look at this. And this is, so this is just from the data that I've got for the December contract. If I put the continuous up, I might get a different count. So let's not uh, let's not rely on that. But at least they, what we can say about the weekly chart is price is going to continue to move higher on the daily time frame chart or should continue to move higher now i'm not talking about intraday stuff uh, so i'm not talking about the noise because there's definitely noise out here on the russell 2000 equity future contract that says prepare for a retracement it's not coming from the daily time frame it's coming from the 30 minute time frame and right now prices that are going to be at a key level that's a 240180 now it's 833 but at 9 a.m if we close below 24180 a key level of support will have failed and we likely then head down towards the 2360 level 2348 to 2363 uh, 2383 is going to be a potential area of uh, support out there that's coming from the four hour uh, green acid and change line um yeah, so so we're you know we're seeing signs that potentially we're going to see some type of retracement early morning. Uh, that's all. I'm not saying this. I'm not at all saying this is a top. That are, those are not the signals that we have. But right now for the Russell, got to watch that 30 minute 240180 level there. So let's go take a look. So we know all this is signaling signaling that we want to move higher. What, what Hector would like to nail down inside the IW. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to switch back to my black background screens out here. So if you give me a moment here, we're going to do that. And what we're going to do is, well, I, you know what? Let's just stay here for just one moment. And let me pull up the IWM charts daily, weekly, and monthly and see what kind of signals are there, if anything. We were taking a look at the futures contract. Let's see if there's anything different here when we take a look at the IWM. So here we look at the IWM. We can see on a daily basis, we're trading above profile resistance, green oscillator and change line, full bullish breakout mode. In the case of the weekly time frame chart, we are negating 
negating a Rhodes momentum indicator top. We're negating a wave number seven top out there. Uh, there's no topping signal. It wants to move higher. Monthly chart, very much like the uh, uh, monthly Russell 2000. Uh, futures chart we looked at, it wants to go target its uh, TD Nikau breakdown level, its all-time high, 244.46. So it does look like this, Steve, even though we're talking about an intraday retracement out here, that that's where the IW really wants to target, which is the 244.46 level. Now, that's all well and good, but what uh, Hector and Patty would really like to know is what do the A to B equals CD patterns look like here? So we're going to go ahead and go over to the black background charts again. And we're going to try to answer that question. I'm going to start with the larger time frame. The reason I like to start with the larger time frame when I take a look at A to B equals CD patterns is the larger time frame gives you what the real trend is. Um, and here, uh, for the A to B standpoint, from the A to B line, we're starting with the March 2009 lows. So, Hector, I go all the way back to March of 2009. The price there was 34.26. Now, we have the benefit of all of this uh, price data, so it becomes easier for us to draw A to B equals CD patterns. Are there multiple A to B equals CD patterns that we could draw here? Absolutely. But the one that really sticks out to me uh, is the larger one. Everything else would be with inside this uh, A to B equals CD pattern. And what we can see is that price has attained the one-to-one -one level. It actually attained the one-to-one -one level back here in uh, 2021, and that was when it formed its uh, high out there. And of course, that's the high that the other charts that we just looked at are telling us it wants to go tackle. Now, what we can also see here is along the C to D move, price is on the left-hand side of that line. That tells you that it's a stronger move. Now, it was a pretty close to a 0.618 uh, retracement. It was 55.85, so that's close enough for Stevie. But because price is along the left-hand side, what this is telling us, Hector, is that longer term, Longer term, price wants to make a move up to 272.66. Uh, that is unless we see some other kind of major top or something take place. That's what the monthly time frame chart is telling us. So that's the bigger picture. The bigger, the bigger picture is we're already at the one-to-one -one level, 234.82. We ran into resistance, so we got to watch that uh, high. If price is able to take out that high, that all-time high, that's going to be resistance. Again, that all-time high number, if I can get my cursor there. It's going to be 244.46. We get a close above that on a monthly time frame. Then we got 272.66, uh, more more uh, uh, um, more likely to attain that level. Now, when we look at a weekly time frame chart, we're simply going to open this up. And here, because uh, now, even if I go back to the 2020 lows, and we, we can't really draw that A to B equals CD pattern in because we haven't gotten up to its all-time high. But if price does take us out, that would be another A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Now we can take a look at what that looks like, but first, what I'd like to do, if you're looking for an A to B equals CD pattern on the weekly chart, well then we've got to come to what's taken place since the bottom in the October, middle of October timeframe. So the A point, that's pretty easy. It's gonna be the low, that's gonna be, this is the IW one that we're looking at. It's gonna be the low from October 23rd, the week of October 23rd. Come on, work with us here. There we go. There's our A point. Our B point is going to be the next higher high that uh, takes place out here. Uh, so you could choose this one right here from uh, December 25th and a pull back into support out here on January 15th. So that would be, that, that certainly is one. I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here. And that's going to simply going to move to it. So either one would be just fine. But I'm just simply, again, this is where it gets subjective. That's what I love about the TD9 count pattern because it's breakout level, breakdown level. It is not, it is not objective subjective at all. It is 100% objective. When Stevie comes back from this break, I'll have that weekly A to B equals CD pattern drawn in, which has a uh, which is going to have a price projection of well, going to have to wait till I get back. Trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. 
Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we've taken a look at the IW, IWMs for uh, Hector and Patty, and uh, we're looking at the we're looking at the A to B equals CD pattern. So I've drawn in one uh, because there are several that we can draw in here, uh, and you can draw in all of them. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but here on the weekly time frame chart, the B point, which formed the week of March 25th, won their 116 million shares. It was passed with 174 million shares. 274. So it's a confirmed A to B equals CD Perry, no matter which B point we use and which C point we use out here. This one has a price projection of 241.50 out there. Now, here we can see that price is trading on the right hand side of that C to D leg. Uh, it does have a 41% retracement, so it's really a battle here. When you do a 0.382 retracement, which basically this is, odds favor you're going to do more than a one to one. But you pay attention to what side of the uh, of the C to D line. See, it's very important. You got to maintain the same angle. A lot of people don't do that uh, out there. My suggestion is really do that because if you use these tools, you're trying to get the marker. You're trying to interpret the message of the markets out there. And so in this case here, it's saying, you know, maybe all this is really going to do is a one to one move up to the 241. So you got 241.55 as one price target. Um, uh, above that, you'd have 272.66 coming from that monthly time frame. Now we get into the daily time frame, and it's just a hodgepodge of all kinds of A to B equals CD patterns. What I'm trying to take here, one of them would be uh, the one that's came off of the August lows out here. Again, we're looking at a daily time frame. The B point out here is on the trading session of August 26. Volume there was 24 million shares. Now, when price passed it, closed above it, it was with. Uh, 35 million shares. So 35 million shares took out a day that had 20, uh, 24 million, 25, yeah, 25 million shares. That's a confirmed A to B equals CD. Well, you can see that yesterday we got all the way up to the 1.272 level on that A to B equals CD pattern. So the next price projection level for a daily time frame would be up to 245.87. Well, 245.87 is going to get us up to the 241 on the weekly. And if we do close above those levels, again, it's really going to be all about closing above the November. November 2021 high out there and again 
for the IWM, that was a 244.46. We get above that, you know, then what you're looking for, though, so you got these A to B equals CD patterns. On the daily time frame specifically, what you'd be looking for is some type of bearish reversal candle. If that were to unfold, then that would tell us that price should then pull back to support. You'd have a top, price would pull back to support. On the daily time frame, that support level, I don't have an oscillator and change, and while I do, it's on another screen. Give me a moment here just to take a quick, oh, I don't. I don't. I get rid of that. Uh, I would say right now would be the top of the profile, and that would be a 227.17 out there. So those are the A to B equals CD patterns that I see out here, Hector and Patty. I think it's just easier first start with the longer-term time frame so you know what's really unfolding. And then you can subjectively you know, do all these A to B equals CD patterns. What you're trying to do is on that B to C leg, you're trying to find a retracement of at least 38% uh, out there. If you don't, it's really kind of a suspect a to B equals CD pattern out there, maybe some other pattern that's going on. And preferably when you're choosing those B points, when you're being a little bit subjective, what you'd like to find. So, for example, here, uh, even on the weekly chart, what you'd like to find is you'd like to see your B point that you use. You'd like to see that pass with volume. Right, because then you'd have confirmed by volume A to B equals CD pattern. Doesn't guarantee that the pattern will unfold the way that it's drawn in there, but it increases the odds versus uh, getting a B point that's passed with light volume out there. So hope that helped you out, Hector and Patty. Hope it helped everybody out. That's kind of a decent, um, a decent um, class if you will, on the A to B equals CD pattern. We do have one more request that came in. Thank you to Dan. He uh, wrote in by email. I appreciate that. He'd like to take an arm holding. So let's move over to Stevie's white background charts, see what kind of uh, signals are being generated by the daily, weekly, and the monthly time frame. So the daily time frame shows a wave number seven top that formed out here on October 14th. It was confirmed the very next day. That top took price all the way back to support. And that was its bullish structured profile. That was at 140.26. A couple of days ago, price closed, this was on the 14th, price closed below that breakout level, 139.11. Of course, you know Stevie's rule, it should be your rule too, you need two confirmations, um, uh, you know, kind of like a two-step authentication process out there. Uh, so you need two confirmations of a break of support or two confirmations of a break of resistance out there. What price is likely to do, because with inside, back inside the profile, inside the bullish structure profile, it should go target 146.98. Now let's go see what is arm holdings trading at in the pre-market right now so at 847 139.97 is uh, out there so it's actually pulling back the test support again watch 139.11 139.11 if prices closes below that and then we get below it again um, you could be getting an a to b equals cd pattern downside let's check this out the b point of an a to b equals cd pattern would be the day of october 24th and the volume on that session was 5.6 million shares it was passed with 3.2 million shares. So even though this has triggered an A to B equals CD pattern, it didn't cross that level with volume. It got below that swing point and below other support levels for only one day out there. So I don't think we have a confirmation of an A to B equals CD pattern. But if we do start closing below that level, again, that level being... Um, 138.40, and if you do it with more than 5.6 million shares, Dan, because you're, you're looking for an entry point, uh, then you've got an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So is it going to form that? I, uh, I don't know. It should really rally towards 146.98. It's not doing that. Right now it's about 140.38 was the last trade that fired off. Um, we'll look at an intraday chart, like a 15-minute, 30-minute chart, see if there's any signals there. Weekly time frame chart, TD9 count top, brings price right back to its breakout level 108.69 that's suggesting to you and i that it's bottomed however price was below the bottom of its bullish structured profile for more than two consecutive sessions and what that tells us is that where well, the 152.04 level the center of that bullish structured profile has held as resistance so we've only seen a counter trend move on a weekly time frame what you want to do if you know you're trying to get into a position you want an entry point into a position dan i don't know what time frame it was if you're looking for a longer swing trade I don't know what that time frame is but if you're looking for a longer term trade out there which is really what the monthly time frame chart would suggest that you should do the reason is because there's no topping pattern out there so there's no that you can see a TD Nike on top which is bar number seven that formed that top out here so this suggesting no top and maybe longer term what this is telling us it wants to get back to those highs out here but that's not going to be a triggered uh, there's the, the piece of information that you need to put that piece of the puzzle together is a close above 152.04 and a close above it on a weekly time frame. So 
at this stage here, uh, I'm going to say hold off for an entry point. I did say we take a look at some intraday charts out there. Um, so let's see what we have here. On a 15-minute basis, I don't have... I, I, well, I take that back. Certainly, there's a sell the D point pattern. The price found support at 144.21. Again, this is a bearish structured profile. Uh, the move lower, if it's only a counter trend move, would find support at 143.72. Well, it hasn't done that, right? Well, at least in the pre market, 140.38, 140.25, just firing off. Um, now, that takes us beyond on a 15 minute time frame chart, takes us beyond its breakout level. The next breakout level will be 138.98. Now, that's a 15 minute time frame. Let's see what we have on the 30 minute chart out here. Don't pay attention. Well, oh, that is the Oscar to change line. That's correct. What do you have here? What do we have here? I don't think this was a sell the deep from the top. So let's uh, let's uh, close it out like this, Dan. I don't see the re-entry point just yet. Let's wait to see how today trades and maybe hit me back tomorrow. I'm going to also do 8 to 9 tomorrow morning. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis.
Welcome back, folks. Thanks so much for joining me. Hey, if you are listening at the normal time, that would be between 11 and 12. We are doing this show between 8 and 9. I'm also going to do tomorrow's show between 8 and 9 as well. So please tune in there or uh, in the early morning, send me some uh, emails with any requests that you have. Uh, let's finish out the show. Uh, take a look at the 30-year Treasury in gold. The question on the 30-year Treasury uh, that's coming in from the den from YOY is, does it look like this is forming some type of a uh, bottom out here, a swing low? And the answer to that question right now in a daily time frame chart is no. Price negated its TD9 count bottom pattern yesterday. It's uh, trading. Uh, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. We're trading below the red oscillator and change line. All rallies have ended at the daily center of that profile. That's where 8, 118, 18, or 19 out there. Uh, so uh, now, what's going on on a short-term basis on a trader? If you're just simply a day trader or what have you, you could take a look at the, uh, well, that's not what I wanted. Sorry about that. It was not what I wanted at all. If you take a look at the intraday charts, look, you got a two-hour chart that has formed a bottom pattern out there. Road's momentum indicator bottom. It's struggling to get above resistance. If it can close above on a two-hour basis, uh, the level of about 116.11, then it should rally further. Here's the 60-minute time frame. 60-minute time frame is going to show a road's momentum indicator bottom still struggling to take out its resistance level at the 116.11 area. We take a look at a 30-minute. So from an intraday standpoint, why, oh, why? The answer to your question is, yeah, there's tradable. There's, you know, there, you can trade both to the upside and to the downside. On the 30 minutes, you got a TD9 count bottom, a close above 116.12, should lead to a further rally out there. But with regard to a larger swing trade, I don't see it at the uh, moment. So I hope that helps you out. Lastly, let's go take a quick peek at gold out here. Goldilocks, what do we have? We know that it may have bottomed as price got back earlier this morning to its breakout level, 26.45. If we take a look at the patterns to watch right now on the two-hour basis, a close above 26.87 is going to be bullish. We're running into resistance on the five hour, I'm sorry, on the one hour basis. Top of its profile is up at uh, 2693. On the uh, three, 30 minute time frame, you're going to get a TD nine count top that's likely going to go ahead and uh, form at 930 and complete at 10. So we may see a retracement start as the uh, cash markets uh, open up. Folks, thanks for joining me today. Have a terrific Thursday. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Fantastic Friday. Be safe out there.